Hello everyone and welcome once again to Red Gaming Tech for yet more of your daily gaming news and myself, Marta, here on the 10th of July. Today I have some rather interesting news concerning Sega and THQ as they are, Sega is suing the bankrupt publisher, that being THQ of course, for £630,000 over Company of Heroes 2 pre-orders that have taken place on Steam. And they have filed a claim with the Delaware US Bankruptcy Court worth $941,710.93, which is the amount Valve paid THQ for pre-orders of the real-time strategy game through Steam. And there were a total of 20,755 pre-orders for the game, and that's coming from September 12, 2012 to 24th of January 2013. It that generated revenue was $1,345,301, but as most of you probably know, Valve does take a 30% cut of Steam sales, which left THQ in this instance with 941k. And of the amount it claims it's owned by THQ, Sega said that $508,877 is entitled to priority because Valve paid the money to THQ after 19th December 2012, which is of course the day it filed for bankruptcy protection. And of course they did buy Company of Heroes developer Relic Entertainment and of course the Company of Heroes OP for $26.6 million after THQ's assets were put up for sale and they have joined the list of uh, potential creditors who collectively claim they're owed over $200 million by THQ. Not exactly happy news for THQ, but of course you can understand why Sega might be a bit like, hey, come on, we've bought the IP, that money should surely go to us now. I'm not a lawyer, I can't really comment on the legalities or anything like that, but it certainly seems logical that now they own the IP, any money from sales and things like that should go to them, especially since THQ is, for all t intents and purposes, defunct and... Of course, they're now five bankruptcy. All, all of their IP has been sold off. Uh, every single piece of it, I believe, has been bought by some person or another. So it makes sense that Sega would be like, hey, that, that money should be going to us. Because they paid quite a lot of money for the IP of Company of Heroes. So, of course, it's understandable that they should be receiving the dividends for their investment. But, of course, THQ are bankrupt, so I don't actually know how well this is going to go. I'm sure they'd love to just... Well, I'm sure they'd prefer to just give Sega their money because, well, it's easier for them. But given that they're bankrupt, I don't exactly know what's going to happen to all that money that they've received. As I said, I'm not a lawyer. I can't really comment on the legalities or anything like that. If any of you watching are US law buffs, then feel free to comment on any intrinsities that I might be missing out on as not only as a British person, but as someone who just isn't uh, too super familiar with US law or anything like that. Still, it's kind of sad for THQ and not exactly good that there's yet another person who wants to get money from them given that, well, money is kind of a problem for them and they don't exactly have 200 million to give all of these people that are claiming they owe money to. Sega's plight seems fairly genuine and hopefully it'll get sorted out soon. Uh, so yeah, hopefully we'll have some good news uh, coming up on that one. I don't think it should affect Company of Heroes in any way, so I suppose there's that. Uh, I just want some good news for THQ, really, which isn't really going to happen, given that, well, they're defunct now and all of that, but it just seems like, let's, let's not kick the guys while they're down, come on, please. But I'm sure they'll sort it out with Sega fairly soon. Anyway, that's me done for this video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching.